Hi everybody and welcome to Stamping with Tanya Badalka. Today's uh, card, we're going to do a thinking outside the box for the July uh, The Adventure Begins Paper Pumpkin Kit. So Paper Pumpkin Kit is uh, a monthly subscription that comes to your door every month. Every month it is different and everything that you need to make the contents of the kit are inside the box. The stamp set, the ink pad, the idea sheet. This is the idea sheet and instruction sheet on how to make those cards. So today's card I'm going to use some elements out of the annual catalog and um, create a Christmas card. So I love Christmas cards. So I have taken this card out of the kit. Let me get the the card base for you and I'll show you what it looks like before I have cut it all apart. So this card uh, is the card I'm going to be using and so I simply cut along each fold here and then on this one here I have uh, cut along the white edge and I have taken that off. So don't uh, get rid of these two pieces because you'll use them on a different card. So let's get started. So I have a regular card base here that is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, folded in the middle. So I think I haven't made my example of this because I'm just going to create it as we go. I'm going to adhere this with the stamping seal to my card base, just lay it flat, and I'm only going to apply adhesive on the outside edge of this. I am not going to apply adhesive on the trees itself because I am, I think I'm going to do something different. So let's place this nicely on our card. So some other elements that we'll be using today is the Versamark ink pad and then the stamp set for Onto Us. This is returning from last year and we will be using this image here. The Christmas Begins with Christ and then we will be using the Tasteful Label dies and I have chosen this die here. So I have already pre-cut my two pieces so that it will just save us some time. You'll also need your die, uh, your die embossing machine. And I've also cut out and stamped two of the trees from the stamp set from the kit. So I've stamped this in the second value. If you watch my video number four, in there it will show you how I've done it. So second value of this tree in garden green and this tree I had stamped the little lines on it with the um, shaded spruce to give it more depth. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do some stamping and embossing. So I have pre-cut my little piece here and I'm going to ink up my stamp with the Versamark. Give it some nice ink and then I am going to stamp in the middle here this Christmas greeting and then I'm going to use the gold embossing powder and I have a large container of it because I go through a lot of the gold embossing powder. So once you've put it on there, give it a good flick and then heat this with your heat tool. I won't do that because it's quite loud. And um, you heat it until it melts and then uh, it's ready to use. So what I've done here is I've pre-done that. I've heated it already. And I think let's just play around here. I think I'm going to slide this behind here, but I think it needs a little bit of lift. Let's try. Like that. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, I like it. And we're going to place it behind the tree. So we're going to lift the tree up a little bit as well. So let's just place this behind the tree, oops, place it behind the tree so that the tree overlaps the sink, like that. And then so I've pre-stamped my tree and I fussy cut it around and then I placed a couple dimensionals, three on the back. Then what you're going to do is I laid it like this in the middle on the front. And then in the ca annual catalog are the Gilded Gems in gold. So we're going to use a couple of these as well on our card just to tie in with the gold. And I'm going to use the 
small and the medium ones. So I'm going to place one up there and one over here and one more, I think, over here on the side. So this is, uh, it's a really pretty Christmas card. Really simple, really easy to do. And um, now you're ready to start for Christmas. So I hope you've enjoyed today's Paper Pumpkin Thinking Outside the Box. Today's edition is a Christmas card. So um, please like and subscribe to my channel for more ideas. And I hope you've had a great day and happy crafting.